collected. I don't know the name of the song, but as I was walking in here to record on my son's TV, it was, I think it's a cartoon, but the song was, so now I come to you in open arms. Something about we, we sailed on together and then we drifted apart. And now here you are by my side. Something like that, y'all. I don't know the name of That's what I heard as I was walking back here. So that may be for someone. Oh, okay, spirit. I keep hearing. We sailed on together and drifted apart. Here you are by my side. All right, what messages do you have for the collective spirit? Okay, walk in the road. Mm -hmm. All that glitters in Treasure Island. Somebody was caught in between. The fork in the road is literally having, it's like somebody gotta have a choice. Someone's ready to lay something to rest. 111 on the phone. Some of you guys might be seeing 111 a lot. Um, I'm also getting with that 111. Whatever your intuition has been telling you, that's the truth. So with this all that glitters, this is like fake shit. Let's just keep it a book. It look like a mound of gold, but it's glitter. Okay. But then you have Treasure Island on this card. So someone was in the middle. Monkey see, monkey do. With this fork in the road. I really feel like, you know, this person could have been going down the right path and it's like someone someone or something could have came in between and stopped this person um i do feel like they completed some type of cycle there could be a, a child involved i keep seeing these baby clothes babies something is coming out about children it's just the truth of okay it keeps coming up Also, someone's lies is exposing them. Someone could be sick as well. Someone can't hold anything down. This person could be, it's either coming out their mouth or coming out their ass. They can't hold nothing down. It's a wrap, I'm here. It's a wrap. It's over. Somebody cannot come back from the truth. Someone did a lot to keep the truth hidden, but now that the truth is out, it's being, I'm, wow, it's being exposed across all platforms. The truth about a child. The truth about a child is being exposed across all platforms. Okay, Spirit, now let me tell y'all, this is where I'm getting this baby from. You see the little onesie? That's where I'm getting this, this baby. There's something about this baby that stands out. Ooh. There's something very specific about this child that stands out. This child could have, uh, wow, cerebral palsy or like be autistic or I feel like the child may have some type of special need here. Um, wow. And, and so now I'm seeing very trying, very hard times. Uh, for the parent involved here. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. Mm -hmm. Five of Wands. Page of Swords. It don't matter what... <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. It don't matter what channel someone clicks on. It, it's all in this person's face. The truth about this baby is all in somebody's face. Because someone was using readings to trick someone out of something or trick someone into something along with spell work all of that shit is being revealed all of it's being revealed yeah what I say I was getting hard times for the parent involved because what I'm getting here and now spirit is showing me someone's pregnancy okay we're gonna go back to that by this truth coming out about this child, someone's about to be left. 
with this child. And like I said, it's gonna be very hard and trying times, okay? Someone is going to be reminded daily when they look at the child, what they did to conceive the child is what I'm getting. It shows up on this child daily. I really feel like magic is involved. Someone has done something to their child. Listen to me, y'all. I'm getting like some type of syndrome or something, y'all. All right, so you got, I cut the deck. I'm copycatting life purpose. So like I said, someone's using magic and readings to trick someone out of their life purpose because they wanted to be the other energy. And the way that someone did, they did many things because we saw the seven of cups. But the one thing that kept someone stuck for real was a child. But there's something that sticks out about this child. I'm telling you, man. And I feel like it's because of what they did to conceive the baby. So every day that they look at the child, they are reminded, look at this, coming to that breaking point. It's going to be some very hard trying times. Okay? What do we need to see, Spirit? Christmas. Child could have been born in December or something about uh, Christmas could be significant. Ooh. New job. Childish in the reverse. Mm. What else, dear? Yeah, magician in the reverse. I'm telling you what this person did to get pregnant. So this new job could be literally like a new beginning, new whatever, okay? Um, and with the Christmas, so this is like a gift. Someone came in, I'm pregnant, right? It's a new gift. But look at what someone did to conceive it. Childish in the reverse, magician in the reverse. This card literally says your desires are within reach. They were not. So someone needed to play with magic. But it's, it's not helping. Someone's still about to be... It's like somebody's going to have to fight for it. Okay. What I'm picking up with this child... I don't know. Maybe this person can't work. This child needs constant care. They can't, they won't be able, because I don't know how old this kid is. It's going to be different for everybody. They won't be able to take this child to daycare. Mm -mm. Um, the child could cry a lot or there's something. It's, it's really trying, really trying for this parent. But it's because of what they did to conceive, Okay. And um, the truth is coming out across all platforms. All right, Spirit, what else is going on for the collection? Apology in the reverse. So that's just really giving me um, someone was not sincere in what they did. They, didn't, they stepped out of their damn integrity to do this. They knew they was wrong when they did it. Yeah, somebody picked up a new line of study. You got projection, sexual fantasies, and then with fire. So remember I said somebody had two options. Someone put sex magic on a person to make it to where they would not even perform with anyone but them. Yeah, these signs and symbols is coming from the universe. That's what I was getting. Something is being shown across all platforms. Literally, there's multiple, multiple readers picking up on one energy. One specific karmic energy. And I'm hearing they say the correct signs. Something about dates. Wow. Ain't no hiding it. Okay, even the person that they went to use. Get the fuck out of here, bro. There's a specific reader that someone watches because it's easy to switch the roles around and explain something different to the person that they're explaining it to even that reading so for a long time someone was able to say see this is me we saw that copycat this is me and this is that person and this is who you are and this this that and the third even that reader because you know with practice you get better but i'm also getting that it was only going to last for a certain amount of time 
someone's referring someone, oh, you need to watch this reader. They off the chain. And that reader is putting that shit on blast. Like I said, somebody got the, the dates right, the signs, something like that, y'all. Okay? So we have codependency here. Someone was willing to do any and everything to keep someone stuck. So there's a lot of sex magic, a lot of illusions, miss explaining the motherfucking readings, and this baby here. Yep. Look at this shit, y'all. Toxic family. The information of this situation will leave you shook. And so, now that this shit is coming out, somebody don't know what to do. Something with this person's ear, it could be getting ringing in the ears. This person could be waking up to some type of spiritual gifts. So they could be having dreams and downloads of this. And then every time they go to watch a reading, it's being exposed. Like, somebody can't get away from it. I can't get away from this. All right, you got Hermit in the reverse with guidance in the reverse. Someone's not listening to their intuition. Actually, they were warned against what they were doing, but they just had to, with this codependency, they had to have it. So, because this person was codependent on a person, now someone's going to be codependent on the system. Something like that, y'all. Because this child needs constant care. It's going to be very trying. Ten of Wands. Very hard. Very trying on this person. And someone is about to realize that the child is not even theirs. Catfished. They was being catfished. Somebody was not who they appeared to be. We already saw the copycat energy. Damn, y'all. Look, what I say. That's why this child is the way it is, because what this person did to get pregnant. Okay? They used ma black magic over someone's life purpose so they could step into it. Y'all. And they're constantly reminded when they look at this child. There's some type of deformity, some type of syndrome, something, but it comes from this. It comes from this, okay? Something is very hard on someone, y'all. Very hard on this person. I feel, I don't even know this person, but I feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. Lying in the reverse. All of this person's lies, they're being exposed across all platforms. Period. Even readers who just read on career, this baby will pop up. Because somebody could be scrambling to find different readers. Oh, because well, they're trying to make something fit their delusions wow somebody was not who they were supposed to be and they had someone stuck in a toxic situation toxic family codependency and they did uh, this is horrible right here like i said this person is sick themselves they can't it's either them or the ch somebody's sick it's like i said it's, it's coming out their mouth or it's coming out the ass they can't keep nothing down but <laughs> All of this person's lies is being exposed. Yes, yeah, somebody was definitely confused here. But that's what the magic did. The sex magic, the black magic, uh, motherfucking magician in the reverse with childish here. They could have been doing black magic over someone who's in their life purpose. Wow, whoever this is was doing magic. Okay, and that's why it's coming out across the board. This person was doing magic... Um, over a lot of readers. They was doing magic over a lot of readers. Trying to cause confusion so people wouldn't speak the truth. Y'all got to go watch that damn. Go to my other channel. I don't care if you're not a Sagittarius. Stop letting the signs fuck with you. Okay? You're somebody, whoever. Because that Sagittarius was showing up. Life, purpose, and service. And you was friend somebody when it came to a child. The sun card came out. I said, some of y'all could have illuminated something about a child. Somebody was staying in some, staying in a relationship or a marriage because they thought that child was there. It is not. It's not. 
And the title of that uh, reading was Somebody Wishes You Would Shut the Hell Up Because You Speaking Truth Exposes Them. That's what's going on here. But see, this person did magic and baby, 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 baby. Let me tell you this. Okay? You cannot. Somebody did magic over a couple of readers, a few of them. Trying to cause confusion. Then you doing spell work to get pregnant. This the, the this child is somebody's lesson. Somebody's karma. And it should not be like that. A child's supposed to be a gift, but somebody would not stop. Catfish, lying, confusion, black magic, codependency, page of swords. This page of swords is this person watching. Multiple, they could be binge watching readings, picking out the ones that sound uh like their situation. You got this masculine, their ring, their ears. See how this person's ears poking up? Spirit is giving this person messages. I like, hold up, man. It's everywhere they go. All the readers are, are talking about this child, exposing this karmic energy. Um, and this person is even getting dreams, visions, and downloads. Okay? I can't deny it. So, wow. Yeah, angel numbers. You may be seeing a lot of number sinks at this time. That is spirit trying to help this person come the hell up out of whatever they stuck in. Yeah, because they went the wrong way. Now, look, man, somebody's going to wish that they were not here. They did too much. Somebody did way, look, what I just say, somebody's going to wish that they're not. Somebody need to watch out for this person too, y'all. Okay? Because they're not going to be able to handle the cries. There's something about this baby. Every time they look at this child, they're reminded of what they've done. They know it's their fault. Whatever's going on with this baby, they know it's their own fault. Oh, now that's some different shit right there. Okay, what I'm about to say might be from one person. I hope it's not. Someone could have done magic over a child to keep a child sick, to keep someone stuck. Oh, man. I, I don't want to dig off into that, y'all. Because this child was little. This child was little. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, bro. Look at this. Someone's obsession. Someone's so damn dark. This Halloween is trickery. Somebody is so fucking dark. And they're obsessed with readings. And they were doing magic over readers. They would okay, thank you, spirit. This person does magic over all of the popular readers. The readers who get the most views, the most attention, this person's doing magic over them. But that's the same readers that's exposing this child or something about the for some of you, it's just the simple fact that the child is not theirs. And somebody was lying about that shit. Just period. To keep someone stuck off their life purpose. Look, another spell word card. And they were celebrating. Okay? They were celebrating this right here. Hell no. Yep, somebody picked up. And see, with this, picked up a new line of study. This person starts to do spell word and they uh, obsession. Like, this is somebody was doing that shit every day. And they was trying to keep that truth hidden. Which is why they start doing black magic over these other people. But no, it's coming out. Because these readers, they're not afraid to speak the fucking truth. And readers can tell, y'all, last night, and so this might resonate with somebody. Last night I had, I was, I closed my eyes and I literally saw someone's living room. And there's like a, I don't know if the chair is cream color with yellow dots in it, something like that. I saw the chair slide by itself. I said, whoever house this is, it's haunted. 
Then I opened my eyes and went on about my day. Because, you know, different readers get different messages, okay? But that's how I get my messages. I either have a dream, a vision, or a download. That is for somebody, and I feel like it's this energy right here. Whoever this person is, because they didn't they know what the hell they was doing. They became obsessed with keeping something, codependency. So this person starts lying, catfishing, being very manipulative, causing a lot of confusion, chaos, conflict, doing spell work and black ass magic. This person's being haunted. This person's being haunted by what they've done. Someone's house is literally haunted, period. Uh, and I'm telling you, man, somebody's... Let's get the tarot out of here, y'all. Let's get the tarot out of here. What a spirit. Eight of Pentacles. And they landed on top of confusion. Somebody wanted to confuse readers. That's what I'm getting here. Ten of Swords. And this person's going to have it bad. Because you can't do no black ass magic over nobody who's standing in their north node. The fuck? Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is on top of the spell work. Something's, someone's being guided away from this. Someone's about to... With this Two of Swords, they're not going to know how to handle this. It's going to be... I'm telling y'all. Okay. And I'm just hoping it ain't now one of y'all that's watching. I don't think so. This is some type of obsessed ass karmic. Okay. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy with the Knight of Swords. You know, Libra Aquarius. Someone was angry about someone's relationship status or something, y'all. And they put a lot of things in front of this person to stop this person, yeah, to slow this person down with the Knight of Pentacles. But somebody just kept on like, and y'all look, that's the justice in this situation. Someone can't eat, they cannot sleep, they can't keep nothing down. That's because what I said, what did I just say? You cannot do magic over people who stand in their north. No, somebody was doing magic over Earth Angels. You cannot do that shit, bruh. To keep, and you, somebody really is crazy, got to be. You got, you got to be crazy to think that the Most High God is going to allow you to do this shit and you're going to get away with it and everything's going to be beautiful. No, bro, sit your ass down. Somebody's not going to be able to handle this, man. Okay, so somebody come, somebody's coming towards this earth angel with some type of apology here. Okay, because that earth angel revealed the truth, the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity as to what was going on. And that Ace of Swords cuts right through this damn confusion, cut right through it. Yeah, six and one. Somebody was in the public. Now, look at that. I'm telling you, I don't know who the fuck this person could be a queen of wands. King of wands, queen of wands. They could have been in a relationship, could have been in a marriage. I don't know, but it's somebody, baby, right here. And look, man, if you do this type of shit. What you think gonna be? You think you gonna have a healthy baby? Just come on, man. Somebody ain't thinking. It's over, man. It's over, and somebody's left. That's that's guilt. Every time this person go to pick up that baby, change the diaper, look at it, anything, they're reminded constantly that they were so codependent, codependency, motherfucking toxic family, and they did all of this shit right here to keep somebody from moving forward. And so every time they look at this baby, they got to deal with that. They, they constantly, this is a daily reminder, daily, a daily reminder. Like I said, they can't eat, they can't sleep. That's the justice in the situation. They were dead ass wrong for what they was doing. Dead ass wrong. All right, you got a king of swords in the reverse <laughs> with the judgment. Baby, somebody is being cold, just cold to somebody here. They cut this person off clean. And they went off on this person. The King of Swords in the reverse. They went off on this person with their eight of wands. Look at that. Empress energy here. <laughs> oh. Child with the lovers. What I say? Somebody had two motherfucking choices. Some fake shit. What this card say? Catfish. Someone's not who they appear to be. We already seen the copycat. Somebody wanted to be this Empress so damn bad. 
and try to like what the fuck this shit is, bro. I don't know what it is. Okay, could be could have been for money with six of pentacles, but this is codependency, and this landed on top of the childish card. Somebody wanted to be taken care of, so they did all of this. This is somebody who sold their soul. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fanny. It looked like they ain't have now. So now, whoever the king of swords in the reverse is, they standing up to this person. They telling this person they pathetic, they crazy. Like, why the fuck would you do some shit like that? They going off on this energy, bro. And somebody's just being left. And there's a constant reminder. Y'all remember a few weeks ago, I told y'all I had a vision of a lady. She was a young, a young girl. But she was petite anyway. I don't know how old she was, but she was petite. But she had a, a little girl in her arms. And all they look at the, the, the girl was just screaming, 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 screaming. And she was shaking the baby up and down, side to side, trying to get the baby to be quiet. Somebody's going to be going through that. Because of what they did to get pregnant. While someone else is moving forward. Yep, someone else is moving forward. There's about to be a reconciliation here after this person was held back because of lies, manipulation, and motherfucking magic. Period. Someone's having a brand new beginning here. So this ask this person, did that shit work? And was it fucking worth it? Because now you have a child who has some type of special needs. It's this parent's fault, man. Period. And somebody and, and so this person could have used this child's special needs to guilt trip someone into something. This child is special needs because of what the fuck the parent did to get pregnant type shit. You doing all that motherfucking dark magic? Why are you pregnant? Because remember earlier, Spirit was showing me someone's pregnancy. This is what this motherfucker was sitting at home doing. Because whoever this was did not work while they was pregnant. Or there was a portion of this person's pregnancy where they could not work. They were just sitting at home. Well, they were sitting at home playing with all this motherfucking magic and watching all these damn readings and doing magic over these readers. That's why that baby came out like that. Y'all, this is some crazy shit right here. Yeah, now this person's sick as fuck. Four swords with the motherfucking tower. Because of what the fuck they done in the past. Just to keep some motherfucking money. This person was fucking greedy. And now they're having to reevaluate what they did. Because this person's stuck in their head. Like I said, they're constantly reminded. Constantly reminded. Like this shit here crazy. Everything that this person did, it's over. It's over, y'all. This is horrible. This is fucking horrible. And somebody need to watch out for this person because they might try to do something to they sell. Because things are going to become too much to bear. We saw that card. It's going to become way too much to bear. This person sitting at home going, all this bad. They could have been fine first few months that they were pregnant. And then you start doing all this damn heavy ass, black ass magic. What? Somebody don't know what they doing. First of all, you sitting here trying to be an empress. If you was an empress, a real divine feminine, you wouldn't have been doing none of that. You don't have to. Man, mm, mm. That damn king of swords in reverse is going in on whoever the fuck this person is. Right before they blocked their ass and left them back there. This shit crazy, bro. We got Cancer, Gemini, Libra. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We got fire here. All the damn signs. Y'all know who is who. This shit don't make no motherfucking sense. It don't make no sense, y'all. And it's just the truth of it. Oh, we need to see spirit. This is crazy. Integrity. What I say, this person dropped all their damn integrity. That was that apology card in the reverse is what I was getting on that one. Align your actions so they match your values and inner knowings of what's right for you. Somebody leaving this person the fuck behind. And they are being cold. And somebody don't know what to do without this person. Because they were completely codependent. And now they have this child that requires 24 hours of care. It requires a lot. It requires a lot. All right, Spirit, what's the message here? And they have to they have to live with the fact that they did that. Relationships. Okay. 
Manifestation power. I told you, you cut the cords. They cutting the cord with that karmic energy, that copycat person. And this person, remember I showed you that person's ear? They're opening up to their gifts. It says, use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. That was somebody doing. They're manifesting a new relationship. Okay. You got creative project here. You got solar plexus with integrity. And shower of abundance. And life purpose with perfect timing. Heart chakra. What do you desire? New partner and throat chakra. Wow. Some type, somebody who's a reader is what I literally just said. With this creative project and life purpose, that's the second life purpose card. There's readers out here exposing someone with the truth, with the throat chakra. And they're getting blessed to do so because somebody was keeping this person bound to them. With no fucking, in, they had no integrity when they were doing what they were doing now. <sighs> so now this person's cutting the cords. And this manifestation power, it reminds me also of like a power couple. So pairing this right up to the relationship. Mm. Like, like I said, y'all go watch that sad reading, bro. Motherfuckers just wanted you to shut the fuck up. And in that sad reading, there was an emperor being bound. Bound. I, and I said, you 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 done exposed to this person that they had magic over them. That's why they couldn't leave. I said, you also exposed something about a child. And, it, and that's on my other channel. And it's coming out here too. Like I said, it's being exposed across all platforms. Anything that this person watches, like every time they grab their phone, you know how... When you get on YouTube, things is recommended to you. This person, the title would be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be my reading. This is going to be my reading. They open it up and it's talking about what I'm talking about type shit. It's exposing some shit. And so if it's not, because somebody lied. Somebody lied on this person, tried to be this person. Period. Period. And had somebody fucking spelt like Chuck. And now this person somewhere sitting motherfucking heartbroken. Feeling isolated and alone because they sold their motherfucking soul to do this shit. Like, this shit here crazy. It's crazy. Mm. And everything they could have been saying about you was true of them. All that black ass magic and shit. A real divine feminine don't have to do that. Period. They don't have to do that. So now somebody want a relationship with this person because this is what it was supposed to be from the get go. Saw that Treasure Island. Okay, but they got caught in the fork in the road and started dealing with this catfish bullshit. Truth always gonna come to light. So someone's getting a brand new beginning here. Someone's also getting some type of shower of abundance for helping to free this person's soul from bondage. 3313 on the phone. And that's what these karmic energies don't want. They don't want these people free, okay? So no matter what's going on, you keep speaking your truth. Especially if you're a reader, you keep speaking your God's heavy truth. Okay? Because you're leading people. To their joy coming about that toxicity, codependent, toxic family. Like, who the fuck want to deal with that? Especially when you ain't got to. And we saw that um sensitive, emotional sensitivity. That's the empath card. So whoever it was that they was keeping stuck is an empath. So you sitting here doing black ass magic. This person crazy. And they really thought God was gonna allow it. This is how you know somebody's mind ain't wrapped all the way. Oh, it's okay if I lie and manipulate and do black ass magic over all of these powerful ass readers. It's okay. Because I want to keep my person. And I'm going to have this baby regardless. I'm going to do all this black ass magic while I'm pregnant. Whatever you consume, your baby consume. Which is why now, every time this person looks at their child, they are reminded of what they done. And then they still getting left. And since they wanted to be so codependent on that person, now somebody ought to be codependent on the system for help. Because they can't do it by themselves. But they created this. This is crazy. Till next time, y'all.